In a social media announcement, Virginia Senator Tim Kaine became Clinton's choice. But the pick hasn't swayed voters who are set on keeping Clinton out of the White House. I would guess that's about the best she could do. I, uh, uh, I honestly thought she was going to pick the, the gentleman from New Jersey. I think that would have probably been her better pick, but that was her. I had to learn how to sew. I'm a Michael and his wife Judy are small business owners. This is Snuggle Pillow. They consider themselves loyal conservatives and are planning on voting for Donald Trump and Senator Mike Pence in November. You can feel how soft that is. But the couple is looking at the possible VPs as far as who could move their way into the Oval Office. I would imagine most conservatives are going to say, well, yeah, Mike Pence is a good pick because number one, he is a conservative. He's a good man. Uh, I'm originally from Indiana, so I, I, I like the idea that he's a, you know, he's a good, strong Hoosier. The couple never liked the possibility of Clinton getting to the White House. Yeah, it certainly is that. And they don't believe Kane will help her get there. But local Democrats are doing what they can to see that Trump doesn't take the White House in November. Uh, yeah, to me, there's nothing much they can do. It's just I'd rather vote for Hillary to have like the first woman in the House. I wouldn't vote for Trump at all. While the race for the White House has forced some to choose a different candidate, these two are hoping for another four years with a Democrat in the White House. I was Bernie. I think I was a Hillary fan. I was then. Bernie all the way. I think Bernie. I was Hillary. At the, yeah. Because Bernie appeals to like the most young kids, okay. and Hillary was like the strict mother. It's like no, Bernie, Bernie was like the cool old dude you mess with every day. In Pensacola, Jacqueline Kovac, Channel 3 News.